The following stream contains mature content and subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Why does thou sit upon my grave and well dead lips to speak? Why does thou weep upon my grave and well not let me sleep? My breast it is. As cold as clay, my breath is earthly strong. And if you kiss my cold clay lips, your days they won't be long. How oft on yonder grave, sweetheart. Welcome to the spirit world with your boy, Twitch. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the spirit world. I am, of course, your host, your boy, Twitch. Tonight, once again, I'm going to be trying to reach out onto the other side to talk to those spirits of the dead that wish to communicate with me. And as many of you have seen, especially our frequent viewers, it seems most of what I'm told is focused on what's going on in Richmond, which is very odd because, well, as everyone knows, your boy is up here in Chicago, but I can't help what the spirits tell me because, I mean, they're, they're very, they're very uh, pushing tonight. They're, they're talking loudly. They're, they're telling me the circle, they apparently spent time some of them went to the FBI building of all places not sure why they would go to the FBI building but apparently there was something important to do there now I only see it was Margot Tark and Alexis those are the three the spirit said went there apparently after they had departed, I've gotten news on the TV, of all things. There was a death of an agent in the building. One Agent Palmer was found dead of apparent stabbing to the base of his spine. Now, of course, 
these ghosts could never have injured the living. That's not what ghosts do. Of course, they're insubstantial. But... Wait, no. The spirits are telling me that those three members of the circle, they were definitely involved in this. Hmm, I wonder how that went down. Very odd. I'm also being told that... Yes? Noah? Aurora? And Isaac went to Bird Theater. Now, I've heard of Bird Theater. It's a noted haunted place down in Richmond. But apparently, they found out that that was the location of the Chantors Guild. Now, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, they're telling me. They're telling me. Oh, that they encountered something. Why would there be homeless in the spirit world? Interesting. Apparently, they encountered a homeless individual that was not what they seemed because I'm getting word that they'd attached themselves to Miss Aurora somehow. I'm not quite sure how all this works. Being just a medium doesn't give me real insight to understanding the things I tell you. Interesting. Well, I think that's enough for our intro here this week. But of course, join me as we go through the spirit world and find out the goings-on of the dead. I am, of course, Twitch. We'll be talking. Good evening and welcome to Wraith Life Derailed. I am the storyteller, Shanky McStabber. And I am Tam and I play Isaac Candy. And I'm Rylan Dare, also known as Mama McStabber in Twitch chat, and I'm playing Alexis Langley. I'm House, and I play Noah Frost. I'm Ravenya, and I play Margot Gwynn. I'm Urian, and I'm playing Tark Tiernan. I'm Evie Eternal, and I play Aurora Walker. And when we were last with the Circle of Ghosts, uh, they had broken the cardinal rule. They'd split the party. And they did so with half of them going to the FBI and half of them going to investigate Bird Theater. The, the FBI crew had unforeseen complications in their plan, but they came out of it with some information and they came out of it, um, well, let's just say with a bit of blood on their hand. And the other three, uh, they learned some vital information about the guild and actually the fact that one of the Anacreons is a member of the guild, no less, uh, which shows the hypocrisy, I guess, of the, the laws of the land. And uh, we're going to be picking up shortly after we ended. I know uh, Alexis and Tark and Margo uh, were planning to get out of the building right after Margo and Tark gathered some information, and they have the information they gathered. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to hang in the building to talk about what they found. And Isaac, Noah, and Aurora... Uh, were you planning just to go straight back to the pump house, or did you have something else going on after the song, of course, that Noah had sung? If, unless there wasn't any sort of immediate reaction, I think that would have been our Okay. Aim. So, the two separate groups start returning, of course, to the pump house. Now, I'm going to let Alexis, Tark, and Margo, if they want to have any discussion before they get there on the way back, and then we'll flash to Noah, Isaac, and Aurora so they can have a discussion on the way back. And then we will see where they everyone meets back up. I turn it over to uh, the FBI crew. Thank you both for your assistance. Sure. I apologize for how things went down, but it needed to happen, unfortunately. And mm. I appreciate the backup. No, no problem at all. And I'm not, not going to argue with how it uh, turned out. I'm happy with that. I will not want to debrief others until I am secure that we are safe to discuss things. Sure. Okay. Do we agree? Yes. It makes sense. Okay. I look up at the clock. It's, um, let's see, you got there about 730. I'd put it after they were done. It's about 830 now, and you're kind of shocked nobody's sounding an alarm yet. Well, Buchanan's a little distracted. Um, 
It'll be a few minutes before someone notices, but once they do, alarm bells are going to be going off. We need to get out of here. So. Let's get. Let's hope. Let's head back. So you start heading back. Now we flash over to Noah, Aurora, and Isaac. And you're still right outside the bird theater. What did you do, Noah? Trying to get that out of your head. Why are you making me sad? What did you? What do you want? What do you? <laughs> Good job, Why buddy. Pat you on the back. One of your stupid powers. Tried to get it. It's not going to last long. I'm trying to get it to leave. Trying to get what to leave? What are you talking about? The the beggar we came across is in her. It's attached. It's attached itself to her. (laughs) Care for Noah? You're on the edge of your character, not knowing the full details. Did 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 I not get gather that from you? Gathered. your shadow did something um, because your shadow warned you and told you, I warned you to go with him. You got from your visions. Uh, you didn't see necessarily something's on her, but you did see that something is uh, going to hurt her. And it is in some way linked to her, but not riding her. Sorry about that. Were you hoping to make the specter feel bad? It's made out of bad emotions. I was trying to help. <laughs> so, so you think her shadow is trying to hurt her? <laughs> Something I got. We shared an uneasy one of those feelings, and all signs were pointing at Aurora. You felt it too, didn't you, Aurora? Yeah, but. <laughs> Mask up. King Edzak, if you need help, I will. Anything to keep this bitch from crying. Unless you can manufacture a cigarette, I don't think it's going to happen. Can... I can try and undo it if you want. Just, just... Just stop for a minute, Noah. And I'm going to uh, Soul Sight to take a look at her shadow. Okay. So we're going to use Castigate again, which is interesting because at this point, uh, let's just say as much as you've been using it, uh, you actually notice the tips of your fingers have started to slowly change color. Just slightly. Okay. But they're darkening in color. All right. And you are going to roll Perception Castigate. And uh, would her shadow send me how many uh, angst they have? Mask is so up. What's my, what's oh, my your target? difficulty? Uh, difficulty is going to be... Hmm, let me see how much it is. Hang on. Need to find out how much temporary angst they your, the shadow has. Tem- temporary angst is what temporary, I'm saying. Yes, temporary angst of Aurora's shadow. Don't ignore that. Who oh, I sent it to. Fortunately, I don't think it's any one of major consequence, at least in what's going on right this second. So whoever that is, he just told you you don't matter. This no, you, you matter. Know it. <laughs> I will tell you your target. No, that wouldn't be it. Target is not. There you go. That's the number. Oh. Uh, four. Four successes. Uh, that's enough. Um, Shadow. 
is more powerful than her at the moment. Let's see. Five would give you a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what to reveal with four? Five gives you a whole lot of extra, but four. Her shadow. It's confirmed. What you can see, you've confirmed your feeling on it. Uh, her shadow definitely is a gaslighter. Something you've suspected a while. And just a hint, you don't know why you saw this, but just for a second you thought you saw a bunny rabbit. No, I don't know what you did, but Aurora, I'm sorry. Your your inner voice is, is, is pretty strong right now. And... It's bullshit. I don't know what you did. It's like every every regret I've had in my whole fucking life is right in front of my right in my fucking head. Jeez, Noah. <laughs> and I will walk over and I will hug <laughs> Aurora. Which yes, I know what's probably gonna happen to her when I do that. Now <laughs> uh, I'm going to remind you that you can spend a willpower to keep from sending Okay, that negative I, energy if, across. Then I will do that. Absolutely. Yeah. You have learned that particular trick is by burning a willpower, you can stop it. And you feel it okay. start to bubble up like you're wanting to, something oily coming off you into somebody, but you manage to suppress it. Keep your keep your nasty stuff to yourself, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> just, you, you'll be all right. Just, just... Let it go. Trust me. It's nothing's that bad. I failed so many people. My family, yeah. my friend, my dad. <laughs> Look, I guarantee you they're all missing you. And just that's what matters. They they won't be worried about anything else. Just let it go. You're fine. And we won't let the bad man sing to you anymore, Noah. I, I think I can fix it. You better be damn sure, sure, Noah. You better be goddamn sure. <laughs> Don't ever do anything like this again. Yeah, consent, Noah. Ask first. I, I asked if she'd trust me, and <laughs> it didn't work like I thought it would. I asked her. Yeah, that was a bad idea, apparently. Noah, do you trust me? I do. I'm going to punch him in the face. And not hold back. There. You see, take one bash. See what I damage. mean? See what stop, I mean? Stop, Isaac. Please. Um, I'm going to get up. Um, and uh, let, let's keep walking and I'll walk a little bit behind them but I'll still use mood music okay now you're trying to create a positive emotion this time yes um, which is a little bit actually harder for you to do as a wraith right. you have to spend two pathos and you roll manipulation keening and difficulty is eight Uh, what well, manipulation and keening? Yep, manipulation and keening against a difficulty of eight. Surprisingly, I'm better at that than I am at charisma. Who'd have thought? Hmm. Uh, better at positive emotions and negatives. I'm not shocked. <laughs> uh, is persuasive able to be used in this? Sure. Four successes. Four successes. And that is actually the exact amount of time successes you had when you rolled the first roll, which means they've canceled each other out. And as you're walking, uh, you I just 
quietly enough for them to hear just, um, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And uh, the penitent feeling you were having, it just kind of fades away. Look at all those consequences. So stubbornly impulsive, Noah. You should learn. I, I actually feel a, a, a lot better. No, I'm I'm sorry. I lost my temper. Yeah. No, you were man. right, but this time, Isaac, you've heard the song, so you also feel the positive effects of it. What emotion were you counting penitent um, with? I don't want to necessarily go with the opposite because that's not necessarily a positive emotion either. I would say acceptance, uh, tranquility. Yeah, tra yeah. But not like monk tranquility, no, but, but just acceptance yeah, kind of, of, of your yeah. past deeds is part of who you right. are. Isaac, right. you also feel Emp it. empathetic. Yeah. You feel it as well. I kind of figured I did. That's why I said that. I think it would change my mood. Uh, Isaac, uh, give it four hours. You might not be feeling that way. Or give it a few hours. You might not be feeling that way. I'm sorry, uh, Noah. No, no. Um, uh, yeah, it was a bad idea. Yeah, um, I meant well. I, yeah, I, I know. Um, thank, thank you for at least you know getting getting it fixed. And I appreciate you that. know what they say about the road to hell. I'm sure you're pretty good uh, paving bricks there. What? Bricks. Uh, Charlie Chaplin's a lot more chatty lately. Uh, uh. And as you're coming up on Bird Park, though, you see in the distance Alexis, Tark, and Margo also coming right down towards the front of the entrance of Bird Park. They haven't reached you yet, but you see them approaching. No, they're not gone, so that's a good sign. I say just to Isaac and Aurora. Mm -hmm. It's good they're not dead. Well, something I more dead. Re they are. Re dead. Deader. More. Yeah. <laughs> um, how much do we, I mean, we, we tell them what's going on, right? I don't see any what reason to hide it. Are shadows strong? I mean, what, what do you think's going on, Noah? I mean, you said you saw something. You said something about the beggar, but I, I don't see what you're seeing. I only saw her shadow. Go ahead and tell him. Tell him I did it. Because you don't think I won't. My shadow it was my shadow's fault. What? What, the, what do you mean? It was responsible for bringing that to us. I called in my friend. Uh, apparently she has friends. For being so quiet, very, very friendly, apparently. So the shadows can just call specters in? Why did it do something to me? You might have been closest. Who's responsible for bringing what to you? Um, on our way, we encountered a specter. <sighs> and uh, it's all more than likely that um, unless, unless, you know, it's lying, which, you know, very likely um, it, my friend called, called it to us. They can do that apparently. Fuck your shadow, Noah. Yeah. Did you destroy it? It's gone, but 
Aurora and I still sense that it's not out of our hair. Big, big that target on my head. I don't know. Threes. I don't know what the hell it's going to do. So it, it, it might be watching us now. I, I don't know what they can do. Is there any way to see it, Storyteller, or see a difference? Well, what are you going to try? I don't know. I mean... That's why you, I'm asking. You can try your life sight, but um, that's already been done technically with uh, looking the way the castigate works as you're looking close. They didn't see it that way either. Um, I, I will let you go ahead and try to roll um, perception and... Um, Investigation? Sure. Difficulty? Ten. I'm going to add detail-oriented, yes, to notice details that are different? Sure. Okay. Difficulty is ten. Very rare I'll ever use that difficulty. In a I game. would also like to burn a willpower to get an instant success. Go ahead. That is a hell of a check. But, as you know, it, it could be more than one success needed even at difficulty ten. Mm-hmm. I got three successes. On top of the one? Mm-hmm. So a four total? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well then, um, I guess my plan to make a difficulty 10 didn't work as well as I thought. Um, there is something off. Um, there's a, a, a change in her, in her coloration. Uh, she's slightly darker. Kind of moves around her a bit, but she's got a, a slight tinge to her skin that seems to shift. And you see Alexis kind of leaning closer and taking a real good look at you, Aurora? Um, Not to make you uncomfortable, I'm checking you over. And if it wasn't for the sunlight that's bright in the sky, you yeah. wouldn't even notice that. Sorry, yeah. That makes I sense. think that bastard's in you. What? Like possessing me? But I'm oh, maybe still he's me. hitching a ride. Uh, how how do I get rid of it then? I don't feel any different. Just when I when I when I pick at the the, the strands, something feels really off. Isaac, uh, my attempts were certainly futile, but you seemed to have command over or attempted to put command over it. Is that something you're able to do again? Yeah, I know you you did that that thing. It made it flinch like a little flash. It oh. didn't have a lot of success, but I I'll try. I mean, I have no problem with that. Okay. So you're going to use I mean uh, Rory, you're good with it, right? Yeah. Um is this going to hurt her? I really hope not. I don't know. Get the hints. His charisma plus castigate. Difficulty seven. Started out as a pretty shit day, so... He's got to roll his... And it's resisted by the current angst of the one in him. Or in her. Sometimes you just got to rip the band-aid off. Well, I can't. Very true. Look, it's it's up to you, Aurora. I, I'm, I'm not going to try something you don't want to try. I don't want this thing anywhere near me. Get it out. All right. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it hurts. You you understand, I understand. this. And, I understand. And I, I have your permission to try this, right? You do. You do. And yeah. All right. I can Until do I saw a preacher do it. I'm gonna put my hand on her forehead and go, get out. Okay, now do you spend another willpower to prevent <laughs> Absolutely. The, okay. Another willpower burned. Suppressing that power as it weakens your will to keep it in. Difficulty was seven. Five. You win. Aurora, while you're standing there and he touches you, you're suddenly racked with an unbelievable amount of pain. It's more, uh -huh. it's in line with what your fire did to you. Oh, God. Oh. You take one aggravated damage. 
And you see something detach itself from her. The homeless. As soon as but it wait a minute. No, as sorry. soon as it detaches, it is shoved eight hundred meters away in the blink of an eye from what Isaac has done. It not only pushes it, it pushes it out of the ward that was established when Isaac did this. Eight hundred meters is uh, well, that's almost a damn kilometer. Oh God! You see this Stay the hell out. fly off into the distance, into through buildings as he is shoved out of the area because you're not even eight hundred meters from the buildings. <laughs> oh. And you see Aurora, sorry, Aurora. Your, your corpus I'm now. So sorry, uh, there's a slight tattered look to it. It's okay. Oh, Isaac, that is brilliant. Oh, God. Oh, that you like, huh? That was like I was just hit with a wall of hammers. I am sorry that that hurt you, Aurora, but that is handy as hell with fighting those bastards. I'm going to attempt to comfort her. And in doing this, I would like to do a corpus conduit. Mm, so you're going to use your usury. Okay. So for corpus conduit, you can transfer direct transfer of corpus. Oh, this is going to be. Ooh. Yep. Let's see here. Okay, so what you're going to roll first is Charisma Usury. Difficulty is your current corpus or health levels. What is your current corpus, Aurora? Uh, with that aggravated With damage, one aggravated, yes. Uh, my current corpus would be six. Six? Okay. All right. That's five successes. That I will let you do enough because the corpus, because it's an aggravated, it's the equal of three bashing because one bashing, one to turn it into lethal, one to make it aggravated. So uh, okay. you're wrecked with the horrible pain as your corpus begins to shred and tatter. You now have one aggravated wound, but all the, the damage that appeared on Aurora's uh, corpus, is, her body is slowly faded away. And uh, the pain fades, or you don't feel anything negative at all. But everyone can obviously see Isaac is injured. Isaac, I'm just going to turn and walk away from the group. Wait, I, I, it's okay. I, it's fine. Thank you. <sighs> Please tell me you felt that too, Dave. Deserved it. And that I can revel in it, Zach. I, I owe you a hell of a favor. You don't owe me anything, Aurora. And uh, if he's still near, she'll, like, return the hug. 100%. He turned to walk away, so you had to chase him down a bit. Yeah, she'll grab him from behind. Now, Big Isaac, hug. you weren't ready for that one. Mm -hmm. Right. Aurora Shadow gains one angst. Okay. Thank as you. you feel the darkness seep into your your body as you hug him. Aurora, no. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Thank you. Really. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're good man, Isaac. No. No, I'm not. There you are from where I'm standing. So that was fucked up. <laughs> Does this circle have anything else they wish to discuss? You're pretty sure after doing that, there's nobody nearby. I, I'm looking around <laughs> to make sure. Of course, uh, so you know, Isaac's quickly walking out too, but hopefully he's still within um, earshot if no one's around. The road <clears throat> is started to pick up. It's a lot busier. You're starting to hear a lot more traffic noises, a lot more car noises. Um, you don't see Anything but people with the life glow around you. Um, and even you are having trouble hearing things across the street or anything. I'll use a foreshadow. Okay. Um, 
Go ahead. What, uh, I'm assuming, uh, awareness, if I'm checking for... I'm pulling it up now on my book up here, or my thing up here. If I can find the right one, there it is. Foreshadow. Now, you're going to do, uh, you can just roll, it's fatalism, plus perception, plus, uh, are you focusing on, I assume you're going to focus on supernatural stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be your awareness, right? Yeah. Yes. So go ahead and roll that. Is my insightful applicable? Sure. Two successes. Okay. You don't feel any major danger at the moment, but everyone there, um, you notice uh, Noah's skin has got a very, very faint pattern of webs and and lines. Almost, It's almost actually more like he's made, you're seeing a, a slight cloth pattern to his skin. Uh, I think I think we're safe, relatively safe for now. That's unusual. Well, that's why I said relative. No, your skin. Well, the facsimile of skin, you mean? I'm just- or whatever it is. Your, uh, what do they call it? Corpus? Is it noticeable to me? Oh, yes. When you look for it, it's noticeable. It's very faint, but it, it's almost like your skin's made of uh, cotton weave, like a sheet has been, your skin has been made from a sheet. Obviously, if we use certain things too often, it shows. It's fucking typical. Great. Mm. That's certainly a possibility. It could be another shadow mess with another fucking specter oh no Noah I didn't do that that's all you Um, well we said we told uh, Sabrina we'd meet her (sighs) is Isaac still in earshot how yeah, I'd only walk go? about 15 feet away. Okay. Just enough to get out of the middle of the group. Our morning also went to shit very quickly, but a threat's been eliminated. Oh. Anything that could get you in trouble? No. Made sure of that. I know how to clean up my messes. Did you hurt somebody? Yes, I sent a specter packing back to wherever they come from. Wow. That's apparently today is fuck specter day. And Palmer is dead. Oh. Okay. Ow. A very skilled assassin got him. Sounds like it was a hell of a day over there in the FBI department or whatever. At least that's what they'll think. So it looked. Quick. Interact with anyone else? No. 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 Bullshit check. You're going to roll that one? Of course you will. Um, for you, of course, you're going to roll your... Uh, uh, let's see, wits. Or no, you can go wits or perception. Probably perception would fit better for that particular Insight, one. My, my insightful. Yep. Against and subterfuge. Or you can go uh, empathy. Can I, do, can I do deductive? 
Sure. In, in, well, my investigation deductive. Sure. I am going to use my false testimony specialty. Yep. And yours would be, uh, you can go charisma or manipulation for the false testimony. Yeah, it was seriously fucked up over there. Like I said, bad luck comes in threes. Target six. Yep, both of you have a target of six. Okay, we got Noah's. Eight. She's um telling the truth. Yep. <laughs> They're so good at lying. <laughs> 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 Sounds like FBI to me. Mm-hmm. FBI, yeah, yeah. So we were able to get information. Hopefully, it will help with our combined interests in our assassins. He was one of their agents. They Pentax. Yes. Holy shit! So a threat has been eliminated. Okay. For now. Not, for now. We're not going to get in trouble for that, right? It's going to take that one some time to heal. It was very ragged by the time we were done. But they will come back. They will. Hopefully we'll have enough time to be stronger. And what about when they find out... Palmer was killed. How, how, how are you going to hide that fact? It looks like one of them did it. And they can bring whoever they want. But every time they ride one of my fucking agents, I'm going to end them. Your agents. Yeah, I'm just a cop. Isaac. Okay. Well, at least that's a threat dealt with one way or another. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. Oh, it probably will, but maybe we'll be prepared for it. Okay. Definitely got, we got more to learn, but right now. That's well, just- I'm glad, I'm glad. One, I'm glad you're okay. And two, I'm glad it was fruitful. Let's go, let's go talk to Spectra and try and ratchet the tension down a little bit. I will things. say, Isaac, had you had that trick with us on the op, it probably would have saved Palmer's life. Oh, I'm sure you'd have found it extremely useful for your agent operations. So tell me, just, just so I know, Palmer's one of your agents, but it was okay to kill him because it was expedient to your purpose. Do we need to watch our back? He had voluntarily let that fucker in. He was corrupted, corrupt, and in, and inhibiting the investigation. Yeah, when he died, he shredded up into ribbons. It was weird. Yeah, his soul is done. What's done is done. Um, yes, Isaac, I will do whatever it takes to accomplish my ends. And Isaac, you know, it's That's probably a typical it's a cop. Mm, well, you know, you might be, you uh, you might be, be grateful for that. What she did later as uh, Palmer got around to questioning, you're still living. You can justify it however you want. Well, I don't really care. Palmer didn't mean a damn thing to me. I just have. don't like the whole, it's going to, you know, we're going to go in and just get information. And it, and then you, you jump have. down my ass because you don't like something I said to you, but you, you lie through your teeth to us. No, see, your mistake was you told too much truth in your lies. 
Oh, so I don't like well enough to be a cop. No. Okay. Hey, I don't. Hey, hey. Okay. I don't expect you, you know, to be a cop. I expect you to be an asshole, and you are. This bitch is gonna ruin him before this is over. I can feel it. I bet when if it comes to blows, she tears him up, tears him apart. Make sure you're on the right side of this time. But to, understand, to be- I could be the bigger asshole. I could take the truth from your fucking head. But I don't. Because I'm not going to do that without your consent. And I'm not. Well, did you have Palmer's consent? I didn't take shit from his head. Who killed him? Come on, Tark? Margo? Who killed him? Who was this assassin? He I've killed got himself bet. with his own actions, and he deserved oh, it. He deserved crap. every bit of it. You're just worried he's going to bonk your wife. Yeah. I don't know what would have happened to Natalie if I wasn't there that night. Do you not understand? I can tell you what would happen to her. He wouldn't have left a witness. He would have killed her. Yeah. There you go. And he'd be going after your loved one, too, Isaac. Yeah, keep going. What, keep what's, going. Feel what's that, right? Done. What's done is done. <laughs> There's no changing that now. And really, this goes to show why it was a good thing we split like we did. Regardless of what we encountered, the dynamic here would have fucked things worse for all of us. Fuck me. We need a group therapist. So let's go talk to Sabrina like we had intended and show how we'll be useful. If we're together, we're together and we'll deal with it. If we get split up, we'll deal with it that too. Okay. Margo has walked 15 feet towards the the guild hall. Okay. Or, no, it's or not like he has hall. any skin in the game. It's fine. And in the it's distance, like, Margo, you can hear sirens. A lot of sirens in the distance. My shadow literally told me it's feeding on our emotions. And you guys, I'm sure, are giving it a five-course meal with all this right now. Ah, but we are made of that stuff, Noah. It's bound to happen. Let's just not serve it up on a silver platter. Y'all, let's let's focus and get to the fucking place so that we can deal with shit and then we can get him. Alexis starts walking. Okay. I agree with you, Marco. If Isaac is back a a bit first off to the side, I'll, uh, I'll kind of whisper to him as quietly as I can. I'm with you. I understand. I just don't Uh, want her jumping down my ass for stuff that she does constantly. I'm going to kind of walk near the back and hopefully kind of get Ark's attention to walk back with me. We, We don't need to discuss it now, but could I get maybe a less heated perspective of when it went down at some point. Sure. I know we've all had a tough day. I can more than happy to share with you what we went went through, but. They can always talk to me, Tar. I have such a great perspective. I'm a very good storyteller. And I'll put a lot more passion into it than you. Come on. It'll be oh, fun. No, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this is a three-person conversation now. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. But I will say, at the moment, what happened had to happen. I'm not judging. It's just from the sounds of it, though. It, you, I don't want to say you crossed a line. It's just lines were crossed, and whether it was for good, the outcome of it's going to be good or bad, we don't know yet not saying it was bad that you crossed whatever lines were crossed it's just we were told things we can't do and they were done and that's that's the objective truth we did things stuff bad stuff happened to us too that and i we've made mistakes i just want to make sure we're all on the same page because if we're working against each other then we're going to become furniture or coins or whatever sooner than later yeah, well, I agree. I, I don't think the- we're working against each other. It was a good thing we split them up. Hmm. So, 
let's let's talk later. Okay. And you um, approach the guild hall. Because you're we're walking, even talking. So you have approached the guild hall. And there's a bit more activity. Um you do see uh Daniel or Marshall. Um you see him leading a group out as you're approaching, but you're not close enough to talk to him. But he's got what appears to be eight or nine wraiths with him. Uh, they're actually all dressed in armor, wearing the breastplate that you had seen before from uh, the reverence group. Sorry, just clear. You, you say guild hall. Is this? Sorry, sorry. The, the headquarters yeah. of the Legion the le- of Faith. The le- like the Legion's the hall. The Legion My headquarters. Bad. My bad. Sorry. Thank yeah. you for correcting me uh, because I had bad uh, no, on yeah, just making sure we were well, on the same page. Um, I will say there's probably an assumption that if you're looking for the Guild of the Oracles. Right. Uh, there's it's a, a good, good place chance to look. Certainly, certainly. Where you're looking. But uh, they laid off heading a, a, the way from you all. And as you get to the building, um, do you return to that room where she had said that Spectre normally would be? Alex, Alexis does. And when you go in there, uh, the first thing you notice is a woman with alabaster skin wearing a, a stark white dress. And she's got pitch black hair. So it's a very striking look. And she's actually sitting in an actual chair at a desk. And beside her stands it's a man can't tell his age, maybe 30s, 40s. Uh, he's only wearing sh- pants, cutoffs, it appears. He's got no shirt on. And there's little glowing lines all over his body. And he's standing beside her. And as you approach, the woman stands up. I was told to expect you. You must be Spectra? Of course. Of course. Sabrina told us to come back and meet you. Yes, yes, that's what we were told. Now, you're the only ones that I know of coming in today, so uh, this should be relatively easy. You don't have a long wait. Um, But, of course, I've already got your names. Tony over here has already noted that. And you notice he's actually got a small, uh, almost looks like a piece of stick in his hand, that when she says that, He taps to a spot on his chest where there's some little lines written. But what she didn't tell me is uh, what skills you have. So um, please, one at a time, please don't all speak at once. Uh, Tell me what uh, you bring to the Legion of Fate so that we can uh, figure out some duties for you. Um, I'm, I'm Noah Frost. Um, few few different things. It feels like um, first and foremost, I seem to be attuned to when trouble is coming about. Um, kind of, or how did you describe it? Like, uh, see the strands or line? But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, like, you can sense. To make it sound cool, fate's machinations, machinations. That's yeah. by sense. And as you talk, this individual beside her, Tony, you see him start taking the, the piece of stick and he's writing as you're talking on his skin. And where he writes, his skin is shifting and leaving behind words. Um, the other main one, it seems like there's been... Some some other minor things, but the other main one is um, when when I sing, I can impact people's emotions. Kind of strange. I was never I was never a performer in life. And any uh, life skills that you may be usable over here? Oh, oh. Um, I I was a journalist, um, so. Any sort of writing or investigation, um, reporting, and I mean any 
tacit knowledge that comes from the stuff I reported on. Inspector gets a little smirk on her face and she reaches over and you see her just tap Tony with three fingers right on his arm. And he looks over at her and he writes something. Now you can't understand what he's writing. It's not a language you've not only not a language you don't know, it's not a language you've seen any before. Yes, if I twist his nipples. Does it work like an etch a sketch? Spectra kind of looks <laughs> etch a sketch. And Tony Cambridge actually toy. looks over. She's kind of confused. We, we, we as a group tend to use humor to uh, mask how uncomfortable we are. And Tony, you see reach over and you see him start tapping on Spectre's arm. And you don't know what significance is, but it's a long series of taps. And then she just, I see. And anything else you need to know? No, now for the rest of you. I'm Margo Quinn. I do machines. I can affect machines. Very good. Like jump in them and things like that. And in life? Uh, professional dominatrix. Ritual scolding, as they like to call it, on occasion. Mm -hmm. Um, I also did cybersecurity. And she reaches over and then you see her touch him this time with four fingers. And he nods and writes some more things. Who's next? I do got a question. Do you pay him a living wage? As I was saying. We don't really get paid. Um... He has benefits that he gets from doing his job. He is useful. And in this case, he's not a slave. This is a, a duty he has decided he likes to do. That's and Tony all just kind of Tony just kind of nods. Uh, he doesn't speak. He's never spoken. He can hear. But we've never heard him speak. But from what he tells me, he seems to enjoy what he does, gives him purpose. And Tony just nods some more. All right. I was just making sure I get a little uncomfortable with the whole slavery, human coins bit. And You're going to have to adjust to that, unfortunately. It is a fact of life here. I'm my chair and table are both soul forged, as are many of the things you'll find that we use. I understand it. You find it distasteful, but in time you will grow to accept it because it's how we exist. Now, who else? I am strong in communication. Investigation. And some combat skills as well. Good. And she reaches over, and this time she only uses two fingers and taps Tony on the arm once, and he just nods and writes something else down. I also have leadership skills. Good. Now, next. Um, I'm Tark. Tarquinius Tiernan. Um, here I, I seem to be able to inhabit objects and machines and manipulate them. And, and also um, computers and other wired devices. Mm, very good. And this time it's four fingers once again. That she reaches and taps Tony and Tony nods and starts writing some work. And in life, I was a robotics and computer engineer. You'll find we don't have many of those type of 
objects here. So, so, so I've noticed. But your skills are still applicable in some ways. An understanding of devices can be useful from time to time, especially when some fool provides proof of our existence and we need to clear that proof out. Understood. You'll be amazed how often they come wandering up in here and setting up cameras and little handheld objects and holding it in the air and talking. Is anyone here? Why oh, are you here? Oh, the ghost hunters. Yes, hunters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they do it from time to time. I've even heard that I'm on the internet somewhere. Hmm. I don't really grasp the internet, but I know it is a concept. Of course, it's I'm way before that, but uh, apparently Spectra is a thing. Well, you do look like Samara from The Ring. A little bit. Yeah. I know, right? I got a lady in white type deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and when she says that, Alexis remembers the stories of the lady in white of the pump house. Oh my gosh, you're her. I still don't know how they found out about me. It's not <laughs> like I've revealed myself. I think it was... One of them was... They would say blessed, but cursed, I should say, that mm. they could see... Bits and pieces across the shroud. We had to make sure that one never returned. We ran them off and kept them away because they saw too much. You'll find, I know you're new, but you're going to find that there are those who can see us. At least sometimes in bits and pieces and glances. And you tend to avoid them once you find out about them. Animals as well. From time to time. Children are the worst. They see us more than anything. So, who's next? No, uh, I'll, I'll go next. Um, I, I can change my form, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, and I'm, I'm getting pretty good at that. Um, I, I can... Like like Noah said, I can start to see the the, the threads, the the branching possibilities of, of people and, and wraiths. If I look hard enough, um, and I can, I think I can can whisper across the veil, or something of that nature. And she looks at Tony and goes, just shakes her head. And you see Tony, he's starting to write something. He actually takes the pen, the piece of wood and he drags it across and smooths it back out and then starts writing something different. And she reaches over at that point and she touches him two fingers and then hit, touches three fingers to him. A bit of advice, miss. Don't. Aurora, yeah. don't talk about what you can do on the other side. That's... I know talking about going into... Objects is one thing, but a flat out saying that you can whisper and the quick hear you, that might get you put on a list or two of someone to watch. Or if a word comes out that someone did it, you'll get rounded up for interrogation oh, God. Oh. by Mr. Daniels and his friend, Babcock. Um, to see if you're part of it. Yeah, I, I, I just, I figured I would be honest since this is my... Um, there is a time not to be honest and there's a time to be honest. I would be careful who you're honest with. Okay. And um, during life, I was a, um, I was a writer. Um, wrote screenplays, wrote uh, some pretty successful books, but Probably not a whole lot of need for that, or at least not necessarily like that, maybe. No, we don't do much writing, but as you see, you can make armor. Uh, you could also be a scribe. 
such as Tony here. That's his official title, scribe. He, he writes it on his body, and when his body's full, we transfer that over to a more permanent oh, okay. item. And then yeah. he clears it and starts over again. That way we're not wasting any anything more valuable uh, if there's mistakes or if, say, uh, I mean, we don't need all the records if someone goes to the forge. Now, do we? Yeah. Um, Aurora will actually um, place her finger on her uh, hand and try and mimic what uh, the scribe is doing by drawing a heart on her hand. Okay. Well, that would cost you one pathos. Mm -hmm. And then it will be your normal moliate. It's moliate plus... Uh, I remember, I think it was stamina, but I'm not positive. I'm or is it? I'll pull it up. Let me not guess. That's the easy way, right? Because it's a form of sculpting, right? Yeah, you're going to dexterity moliate. Difficulty is seven. Dexterity moliate, difficulty seven. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Okay. So three of those were tens, and one of them was the one. More than enough. You draw. I mean, how detailed did you want it? Um, I want it just to be a very nice, clean heart. You draw very right in the, the armor, the gauntlet that's on your hand. As a heart appears. She goes, very good. See? Perhaps we can find work for you as a scribe at some point, though not initially. Right, and that yeah. leaves one more. The dark and brooding one over there. Not that dark. Maybe a little broody. Hi, I'm Isaac. I'll extend my hand. And she reaches out to shake it. And I will use a willpower. You will? <laughs> I was about to ask. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Now that I know that works. <laughs> nice to meet you, Isaac. I was a bartender. Um, I also did odd jobs for... Uh, People who had other kind of agencies, um, running materials, you might say. Can you handle yourself in a fight? Well, I launched a specter earlier today about, I don't know, a mile away. Hmm. And she reaches over and she taps two fingers on Tony's arm. She goes... Good. You're actually, if you're able to send them away, that would make you hardener, as they are called. He has a good right cross, too. <laughs> but he does. I also seem to be able to, uh, I don't know, I can kind of see a path and take people with me and move. Oh, quickly. Herbinger. And then she reaches over and she taps Tony with a one on his arm. And Tony looks at her. And she just gives him a slight nod to confirm. And he writes some more on his skin. Very useful. Very useful. So, looking at the skill set. Seems to be quite balanced in a number of areas. You've got your fighters, investigators. Those that can erase traces of what you've done. And you've got somebody who can help you move around. I've got good news for you. I think we're going to keep you together for now. I'm going to make you your own cohort in the Legion of Fate. You will report, of course, to Marshal Daniel. He is busy at the moment. He is on patrol. But your initial jobs will be, of course, patrol. Uh, that's what we start off everybody. Unfortunately, you will not get a, a breastplate or a weapon. Um, we don't just hand those out to everybody, obviously. Uh, we would hate to find out well, you're not worthy of them and you take them and run or sell them or otherwise cause problems. But uh, I'm sure he'll take you on. He's on patrol today. I assume tomorrow he will take you out on your first patrol. Um, and it's going to be a series of patrols, of course. But it's mainly to give you a feel for the city, the rules, and what goes on. But that'll be most of your duties in the beginning. Uh, you will pull eight hours of patrol, and the rest of the day is yours 
to do as you wish. If if we call up an alert or if there's a problem, uh, you may have to serve longer than that because, as you can tell, we don't sleep. Though, Isaac, you, you do seem to be a bit injured. I can see it. You're just a wee bit injured. Do you know where something important to you is? Well, I'm... I mean, just just something we consider important? You'll know if you've been near it. It's something that draws you to it. Normally, it's something that was important in life to you. You get pulled... You'll feel it when you're near it. It's like a tug. You'll... To... to heal that kind of an injury you have. You'll have to either sleep in it, uh, though you can also spend uh, time in quiet contemplation. And if you focus really hard on on re-solidifying who you are, uh, you should also be able to to heal that kind of an injury. Novel. Got to, I mean, you kind of, it's not bad, but in time, if you don't take care of it, you can get worse. You'll have more wounds and it adds up. But so uh, tentatively, because Daniel has already left. I will say for you to come back tomorrow. At dawn and Daniel will be here to take you on your first patrol. Now, uh, do you have any questions for me? This is a, this is a kind of a weird one, and I, I don't know how much information you would, but for my companion's protection, am I able to to do this? There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Anyone who's on patrol, you'll get a uniform when you go on patrol, of course, uh, Matter of fact, we can issue one to you. We'll get you one. We like everyone to look. Went Uniform. on official patrol. We like people to know. Now, there will be times when you will not be in uniform. And that is where the varied skill set, of course, is important. Because a lot of what the Legion of Fate does is not overt to the rest of the people in the city. We specialize in small groups of skilled people to handle Legion business. But you are allowed to defend yourselves. And generally, you'll find that our kind are very difficult to permanently injure. And sometimes on patrol, you have to crack some heads. Some of them are particularly stubborn. So... Uh, Daniel will give you the full rules. For now, I will tell you uh, there are rules against fighting in the street. Anacreon Daniels does not enjoy that. But there, there's also rules about, of course, never interact with the quick. Most of the rules pertain around those two particular items. The Anacreons and the council as a whole feels it gives an improper feeling of the city if people are just fighting wherever they wish because tempers flare. And when tempers flare, let's just say it has a tendency to spill over into the other side. Can um, legionnaires like, so, so if they catch somebody breaking the law, will we have like shackles or something to, to disable? No, people? you won't in the beginning. If you prove yourself well enough and you advance up, uh, one of you may be elevated in rank. A centurion, and then you may have a little bit more power to do this. But we will see uh, how that goes. That is all on Daniel. He makes that decision, of course. Mr. Tetweller is rather sticky about those rules. And to be honest, we have uh, limited amounts of these supplies. Right, yeah. So we can't just hand everybody one. But do come by in the morning. Now, if you don't know what to do tonight, and I would say you could try to find some, some proper clothing, but... 
I heard that costs money. It does, but you'd be amazed. Do you have any coins yet? It is already spoken for. We made a deal to ensure we didn't end up on the slave block. Well, I mean, I don't know the terms of your deal, but uh, you'll find that ordinary clothing is, is rather cheap. You can get it for fractions of an obelai. So you do know you can break the money in, into smaller pieces to... I, yeah, we've been told that. You can buy it for fractions. Most things uh, don't go for a full obelai. That's, that's just how the economy works. Where's the market? Uh, yes. We haven't had a real city tour. Well, sorry to say that. <laughs> I will get somebody to show you where it is. And actually, at this point, is where we're actually going to go to break. With the group planning, I think, going to go to the market. And we're going to go to break so I can Shopping. figure out, find, look on my map to see exactly where I put the market. <laughs> we will be back in 10 minutes. Enjoy, everybody.
Welcome back before the break. Well, this circle had a, a brief discussion and a lot wasn't left unsaid, I think, in that one. And Aurora got injured, but Isaac took that on himself, apparently. And they met with Spectra finally, and now they're being told about where the market is. And Spectra, you just go over to the, the Bird Park maintenance building area. It's, it's still in the park. It's a big park. You go that way, and she just points. Just keep going straight. You won't miss it when you get close to it. Okay. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Hey, you don't you don't happen to know where the um the, the the smith is, do you? Um, you mean Zachary in the forges? Um, I don't personally what was know. His name? <laughs> Zachary is the the name yeah. of the the smith. Yeah, yeah, Zachary. You were told it was Zach, but Zachary is what she calls him. I don't okay. personally know where they are, but I tell you what, I will make sure Daniel tomorrow, when you meet up with him, he can tell you where to go for that. Because, I mean, you're going to get a tour anyway. Uh, when you're on patrol, he's probably going to walk you all over the place. So, 
I'll make sure that he knows to, to take you by there. Okay, thanks. I I'll really even make sure that. that the patrol route scheduled for tomorrow includes that section of town. Awesome. As a favor. Thank you. The So you know the market is well patrolled. You'll see lots of legionnaires there. So it's generally safe. Okay. You can't have commerce disrupted. So if you have no other questions, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Spectre. And uh, you'll get a uniform and everything tomorrow. Will we get our masks? I know Sabrina mentioned those. You won't get them. You'll have to make your own masks or buy a mask at some point. Um, you're at the bottom of the, the pecking order here. So um, you're very low priority for that. You'll generally get a uniform because that signifies you're in on duty as a patrol. Uh, that way people recognize who you are. Uh, and recognize your authority as one of the Legionnaire patrols. Now, that doesn't mean bad things won't happen because as much as they talk about a renaissance in this town, let's just say it's not been successful. Mm. It might be a rough place to live. Should I be concerned? Should I be concerned about this? It might, didn't, my corpus didn't look like this a few hours ago. You are showing a guilt mark, uh, whether you're in a guild or not. It shows what you can do. You will you see it slowly on most of us. A lot of us get it removed, but it just comes right back. And for me, uh, she leans in real close and you see her actually her eyes uh, in her pupils. You can actually see runestones. Old style Norse runes. Oh, that is fascinating. I I, uh, I read the bones quite a bit. Huh. Every once in a while, I go and get someone to it away. And it's lessened for a while, but they always come back. Hmm. Moliate, you can't that's hide the, what you do. Is that the thing where you change? Yes. Well, oh. what you do, but shaping others they sculpt us and and you know you can get them removed smoothed away changed taken off they will come right back any it, any harm in me having no looking no like it's oh, you'll see we all have them i know you've been told guilds are banned if you did something you're not supposed to and somehow found yourself in a guild they generally <laughs> could teach you things that you can't learn normally on your own and they will, uh, you'll find that those particular types of uses of your abilities uh, put the marks on faster. I noticed your friend over there, his fingertips are started to darken. It's a sign you are a partner. It'll creep up your arm. Then eventually there'll be a, a dark tinge to everything on you. It just happens. Um, if you work the actual forges, which you would think it'd be th those who, like you, or who shape. It's not, though. It's those that get themselves into objects. So that would be Margo and Tark over there. They will start to show signs of the, the heat of the forge. Will start to burn their skin. How? You can find those who work the forges often by that. They don't tend to remove their guild marks, though. Uh, they wear that as a badge of honor. Because the smith himself still bears the scars of working by the forges. And Charon Smith is rather revered amongst those who work that particular guild. Nice. What's the one? Is there one for being able to change yourself? I mean, I guess... Well, yes, there's... I'm not sure how that one would work. The Masker's work. Guild. Yeah. There's one. They group them into like abilities, things that interact the same way. So you have those that sing, the chantors, those that use music, uh, those that put people to sleep, and those who use illusions. Uh, they're the Sandmen, and they're, well, in this city, they share a space with the, the singers. 
they're generally an aligned group because they work hand in hand often. There's one for each group that is allowed. Okay. Uh, there's some that, I mean, we tolerate many around here. There's some that aren't tolerated at all. And those are the ones that can get you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, we, we heard about ones that are like super illegal, so. Yes, those that can rot things. They were called the alchemists. They're well banned. Mimnosis, the Mimni, the ones who can play with memory. Instant forge. And then the ones who play with people's emotions, they also go to the forge. Okay, well, I don't have any of those. Jesus. So with the the sing, I sound so. I feel so silly that the singing and how that affects. That's is there a difference? Well, yes. You sing and evoke emotion. You sing, you sing and bring emotions out. You don't force the emotions or take the emotions away from people. Force unnatural emotions on those. There's a difference, and you certainly don't deaden. The emotions of things that are emotional beings. Oh. So, literally, the ability to emote is what's banned. Yes. They're messing with the ability to emote. It's a unnatural shaping of emotions, not through evoking memories with song, not through uh, invoking feelings, but forcing the emotion in somebody's being or taking emotions from them. That is a good distinction. It's a very big distinction. Can I ask why an ability that can, because because from what I hear about the memory one, it seems like that's one that can pull out truth. Why would that? I mean, I could see the implications of what could be capable with it. I, I'm an intelligent woman. I get it. But. It would seem it would be incredibly useful. It would, but you can change the memories. And who's to say what you've pulled out is truth? You pull it out. Is it truth? You say it's truth. Is it truth? What happens if you alter it and give it to another? False memories. And ultimately, they are banned and illegal. I was just curious. I because keep hearing rebelled. about them. They rebelled against Charon. Oh, shit. They were one of the guilds that tried to remove Charon from his place of power, from the place that the Lady Fate decreed him. Isn't he the one that started the slavery? Yes. For the good of us all. Hmm. When they didn't rebel to make things better, they rebelled for power. He had the power. They wanted the power. They tried to take it from him. I want to roll something. Okay. <laughs> what Just do you want to roll? Something. Just something. Because I want to get the mo- the underlying motivation of that statement. Because that is very vehement. Okay. You know? um, that is going to be... Uh, let me look and see. There's I, Actually, I have an, a general idea of where I'd go with it. You're going to roll perception, yeah. empathy. Okay. To does, read. Does that qualify for detail oriented? No. Picking out the details of her speech patterns? No, you're trying okay. to pick up a, a motivation more on this one. If you had a good deep motivations or something like that, it would apply. My difficulty standard? Standard difficulty. Okay, that is five successes. There's a tinge of fear. When she says that. Mm. Thank you for explaining that. No one has taken the time to do so. And I was just really curious because we keep hearing about these awful things and nobody's explaining them. So thank you. Glad I could be a help with that. It's a lot of the rules were set down by Stygia. And as we are a hierarchy city, we 
follow the rules. But uh, the ability to play with memories or to force false emotions is... I mean, both guilds were part of the war against Charon and part of why we banned all guilds. And I know you, you hear me talk of guilds and there's banned and while they're all banned, many are tolerated. There's more of them that are punished than there are allowed. In time, I think you'll understand when you have, if anyone ever forces false memories on you, you'll learn. It's very unpleasant. You don't know what's real or not at that point. That's real fucking scary, actually, giving that another thought. <laughs> it's easy to pick them out if they give you a memory that doesn't involve you in it. You're remembering you doing something. Or if they send you a memory of them doing something, very easy to know what's real or not. But if they take one of your memories and they edit it and push it back in, you now have two memories conflicting. Yeah, that can lead to basically the equivalent of a mental breakdown. Or they can just take your memories and erase them. You forget who you are and what's important. Exactly. We are hardy individuals. We can take a lot of injury. But when some can steal your entire mind like that, because we are made by our memories, it's what keeps us going. A memory of what it was to be alive. Take that from us. Hmm. And it's fate not worse than oblivion. It's about the same. I apologize for bringing up an uncomfortable subject. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. I, uh, I have a history with that. So again, my apologies. Fine. But like I said, just go that way, straight, and you'll find the market. It's a good, I mean, you'll walk a little while, but when you get close, you'll know it. Thank Trust you. me, you'll know. It's on this side, most of it. Alexis will start walking. Thanks again, Spectrum. Yes, Mr. Isaac, you, you seem to have a question. Well, I will see you in the morning. Um, if you don't have anywhere to stay tonight, Legion headquarters is always open. We don't have beds here, obviously, because we don't tend to sleep, but it's always open. To, you're welcome here at any point. Then I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. So you, you all head towards the market. Now, you have a walk to get over there, so I turn the scene over to the players. On your walk to the market. Shit, I didn't really think about the implications of power like that. That's one for the book. I have a little bit of that. And once we heard it was a no-no, I, I, I stopped. Um, and it seems uh, some of my own abilities are a little more prevalent in the first place. And, and I'm I'm serious about the the um the breastplate thing. Like, it's probably not as good as whatever they're making. But if if you need defense or if you're worried about something, let me know, and I'll you know I can do that. It takes a little bit of focus, but not a big deal. Do you want a yep. big old mace or something? Grand you odds? can do that to others? Uh, yeah, apparently I asked her. At least I can try. Um, I mean, I'm getting pretty good at doing it myself. So, I mean, do you want me to? Not now. Not now. I don't want to appear as something I'm not. Okay, that's fair. Um, I, yeah, I guess we can, we can give it a try in the morning. Mm -hmm. And if I talk to these guilds that we're not supposed to talk to maybe i can learn more well it's you were told to go to the smith for that one yeah 
Seems like that one's useful enough to be accepted here. Yeah. Remember what she said at the theater. Just say you were exploring. Mm-hmm. Just explore. You know, I wonder, did you all notice when, when we were telling uh, telling her what we did and on this side, how she would talk to her, uh, said Tony, um, and he, and she would tap him very like two times, like two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. Yeah. Um, I wonder what, I wonder, was that like ranking the importance of what the skill is to them or it might I, be, I wonder what they were doing with that. It might be positions. So I know you and Margot got four, if I remember correctly. And four may mean like working the forge because that's what she said about your power. You, you get like forge stuff, which I don't like that is. Well, now, at, she's, she said that we were going to be doing patrols. So right. we are basically a squad, is what we are. She was ranking how our abilities, I, I, I imagine. Now, of course, we can clarify and ask her tomorrow morning if we wish. She may or may not answer. We shall see. But, Maybe. but really, it seems like to me she was ranking us based on what our abilities are work how the, how they benefited as a as a team certainly possible isaac got is the only one who got a one so he must be yes super useful <laughs> well i mean he can move fast and deflect specters i mean yeah pretty fucking useful color me impressed might have to get you to teach me some of that Spectre deflector power. Spectre I don't, deflector. I don't, I don't want it. one of those getting uh, <laughs> that close to me again. Like I can, I can chop them up, but if that shit happens, I don't really have a defense. That's why we're going to be a team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we're all a team. At least mm-hmm. we all get to be a squad. Yeah, we all get to stay together. This is great. Yeah, even if there's some tension, you know, sometimes. Like anything, some growing pains. Yeah. Mm. Suck the, um, that two out of the three abilities I have, I can't really use. Yay. (laughs) Fucking sucks. I want you all to understand something about me. Yeah. I will lie to protect every one of you. I will not lie to hurt you. And I look directly at Isaac. And no matter how unhappy I am with you, I will do what I can to help any of you when you're hurt. Um, uh, uh, Isaac, we, we really should, um, you're, 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 uh, wounded. You're, you're still wounded. Uh, thank I'm you again from, by the way. Um, I'm fine, Aurora. Fine. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. Those kind of wounds, they don't go as deep as others. Indeed. Um, is anyone looking for anything? specific if we're headed to this market or are we just looking yeah. to look look and just see how the market works in case you know we find things something that you know we could sell to help ease our obligation you know i mean what does it cost for us to get a stall at the market or how it even works it's something i plan to look, to look into curious about how a ghost market works mm-hmm. do you think they have like a can of hairspray i can use with my lighter to <laughs> Someone would Maybe have I, to really want that hairspray. I should set up a healing booth. Oh, sure. Healing and, and specter launching. Half an OBI. <laughs> I'll read you. I'll specter launch you oh and I'll goodness. feel your wounds. Isaac is our Ghostbuster. <sighs> oh. You know, I didn't pick these right. I know. 
I didn't mean, pick mine really either. Crazy. And yeah, it fucking sucks. But if not Isaac, who are we going to call? <laughs> Sabrina. Argo, <laughs> just so it's clear, that's all water under the bridge now. You know now, we know now, we didn't then, it's done. And full disclosure, if you need me to look at something and figure out its most primary need at the time, I will do that for you. I will be our alarm. Then I think Aurora can share in that as well. Hey, I'm, I'm not spidey sense twins. I don't seem to be quite as good as, as you are, Noah, but I mean, I can. Yeah. It, I, hey, you know, it's worked and it hasn't worked. And even when it works, we still got fucked. Yeah. So, you know, it knowing danger's coming is much different than stopping the danger that's coming. So. <laughs> yeah, apparently. And um, Alexis, well, no, we're not going to tell anyone about what, oh. what, what you do. Like they say, I mean. Oh, if you ever want to fuck me, you can get me sent right to the fucking forges. But we have no intent. About what? I mean, yeah. there's, there's nothing yeah. you can do that would cause that, right? Exactly. I don't know. What nothing I'm aware about. of. But and apparently I can lie well. We've Spartacus once for each other. We'll do it again. Do it again. Yes. Yeah. I felt really bad about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm like making a, a bad joke. It's, I can't it's remember a, if I'm Spartacus. I'm sorry. That was, that was kind of funny. Um, you should apologize to her and ask for help. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Alexis. Yes, Noah. I hope you know I had reasons for why I did what I did, but I am sorry if... Sorry for leaving you high and dry there. I had my reasons, whether they were clear or not, but I am sorry. Understand, I got no enjoyment out of killing that man. Understand, in the situation, I had to improvise because the fucker riding him was out to get us all. Hey, I'm, I'm not judging you for what happened. I, I ask questions because I want to make sure there's, there's time for plausible deniability, sure. But there are times where the less we know, that harms everyone, too. So that's why I was questioning. It's not because I was questioning why you did it. I was questioning so in case anything we were questioned or our, so our story was straight. I appreciate that and I appreciate the apology. Well, there's the, I will admit it's there's some motive behind it. As Begrudging as I hate to admit, my keeps reminding me that Claire is not here. And what do you want me to do, Noah? A collaboration on finding a way to get her here that's not as intrusive. I'm not asking you to do anything you're uncomfortable with. I'm not asking any one of us to do anything, but and we all want to make sure our loved ones are safe. And my, my wife is the furthest away from all of us. Okay. I will think on it. The conversation is all I'm asking. We can have that conversation. Let's go to this thing and we can talk later. That's all I ask. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Of course. Everything I do is to protect us all. 
Try and bear that in mind, Alexis. I'm, and I'm... that will also include trying my damnedest to protect what is important to us all. And I just want to make sure whenever we are making decisions that we are in mind and it's not eyes all the time. And I am guilt. I am just as guilty of that. I can agree with that. Okay. Shall we? Absolutely. Hey, Isaac, if we get you a... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Margo. But I am curious about what the band powers guild marks are. I know. Try not to use them too often. If you get them, I can... What what'd she call it? Moliate them away. Um, but um, Isaac, do you think if we get you like a, a like a pair of gloves, that weird touch thing won't happen? Like an actual pair of gloves, not like you. Like I just make a pair of gloves. I have no idea, but it's a good question. Kind of like you getting rid of that thing that bothers you when it happens. I the tinglies. I, I can try and st- stop it. Okay. But it takes an effort. It's gotta get tiring. Maybe the glove thing works. You know? Might be worth, but again, if if what Aurora can do doesn't mend it, maybe a pair of gloves will. Yeah. Like big old heavy mm-hmm. gardener's gloves or something. I wonder if Alexa's ability can block somebody from taking someone's memories. I don't know. I really try not to use it. I really do. Because I'm scared. Well, I would say to death, but I'm already dead. That I'm going to get caught. I think... Again, I'm not batting a high percentage here right now, but you only get If you are doing it on any of us and we know about it, that's one thing. It's doing it on people maliciously is where the higher risk comes in. I will say I have not done it maliciously yet. Yeah, yeah, again, that's not what I'm implying. Yeah. No, and I agree with you. My intention as it stands is not to do that. But I can't say in the heat of the moment in fucking combat or when there is a threat present that I won't. I know my limitations. You're an FBI agent. It's risk assessment. Exactly. Yeah. I understand that. That that thing I can do where I can read in what what they want right now is really beneficial, but it's some of the other things like yeah what it, i think we're getting close we might want to calm down the conversation yeah, yeah you're right yeah. all right shopping spree <laughs> shopping you are getting it's close people money because up ahead in a break in the trees into the field that surrounds the maintenance building you see ramshackle series of almost lean twos they seem to be made from a little bit of everything. Bits of stick, sign, just cobbled together off of almost everything imaginable. That lines up in neat rows, and you see them, you know, there's three or four different rows that stretch on through the length of the park. Little stall areas with guards walking up and down through it. And at each of these stalls sell various items. Now, is there anything in particular everyone is looking for? Because the range of items here is is rather amazing. There's some there's weapons that can be bought there, clothes. I mean, you'd be amazed all the various things that somehow make it over to your side. Some of them appear to be made from a strange metal or a strange uh, material. Some of them are made from bits and pieces of what you recognize as materials from 
the skin lands. Seems somebody has been found ways to take existing objects and reshape them into new objects using the existing objects as a building piece. I'm going to go look at the weapons. Okay. Um, before everyone breaks off, um, I'm, I'm going to be in proximity, but this all still really weirds me out. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. I'm sure I will be, but I just want to find a bench and sit while you guys look. This is I'm not there yet with this economy, let's say. Mm. Sometimes acceptance takes a while. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to find a bench and wait for everyone to do their shopping. If you want, I'll go with you. Buddy system. I, oh, it's um, weird. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. Um, if, yeah, if you want to stick w with me, that's fine. Yeah. No. Uh, remember, there's one person has both the obelai in her pocket. Yep. And uh, it's funny as you go looking through and just eyeballing it first. Just one looking. Of the, one of the very first stalls you come across. Uh, Isaac, you do a double take. There's a shop, or not a shop, a stall. Somebody's selling stuffed animals. There's like three of them sitting there at the moment. Of course, they're on your side, so they don't show the raggediness that you see them when you see them across the shroud and you recognize the little girl running the stall Ami is selling one of three stuffed animals one's a teddy bear one is a uh, a giraffe and the third one is a dolphin And I think everyone here notices Isaac do a double take uh, with his head as his head whips back after he, you know, glazed over at first the, the stall because she barely comes up to the counter height or the, the table height of it. Barely. Yeah. Isaac, some... are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You got our uh, uh, currency, Alexis. Do you want a uh, stuffed animal, Isaac? Doesn't it look familiar? You saw it at the train wreck. It's not the same one. Very close. Okay. Made by the same manufacturer, you'd guess. To my oh, I don't it's think that's one. it, but it sure is similar. It's. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. And the little girl actually waves. And Alexis <laughs> smiles actually warmly and waves. Hmm. Do you want it, Isaac? No, no. Who no. is she doing that to? Uh, you can't tell. To you all. Okay. All three. All, so I'm going to walk all up. All five of you. I'm going to walk up. No, Margaret's with Noah, right? Yeah. So all four of you. I'm sticking I'm going to walk up. Alexa, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, it's Zach. Hello, Mommy. You know each other? He's my brother. Of course I know him. Wait a minute. You remind me of somebody. Alexis's smile falls. You remind me of Ken. Whoa. So, y Alexis, can I talk to you for oh, a moment? Oh shit! Did I did I say something wrong? You, no, you, uh, you know you know Ken. Well, uh, he's my partner. Is he your friend? Well, yeah. He, we we go out, we hunt a lot of relics out there, outside of town. And when we get enough, I bring him in. He's not allowed in town. Oh. Long story. Um, and I bring him in and I sell him. And then bring, we take the money and we go out and we hunt more relics. And um, we've actually turned quite a bit of business. These don't sell for much. Uh, I had some better stuff last week, but you sell what you got around here and this is what we sell. I did, see. Did I spoil something? No, there, it's fine. Isaac? Ken is my dad. <laughs> you can't be Lexi. I am Lexi. By his description, you were like 10 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> and bulletproof, I'm sure. So, yeah. Just... <laughs> now, how do you know him? I mean, I haven't seen him in... 
Unfortunately, well, we years. died together yeah, on a train. train car. Well, I'm, I didn't get to find out last time we talked that, that how this happened. You, I'm sorry, you're over here. Isaac, you didn't tell us yet. A, a, well, you, you mentioned family, but you never said she was here. Yes, yeah. Isaac, I believe we can talk later. Ami, do tell Ken that his daughter looks forward to seeing him soon. I'll, I'll let him know when I see him. He's he's not allowed in town. He's oh, she yeah, leans forward like all, like obviously conspiratorially, mm -hmm, and I lean in. He pissed off Daniels, <laughs> and, uh, and he really he said some mean things about about you know Miss Mead and. Mm. Caught her a cheap tramp, I think is what it was. Mm. Well, needless to say, um, uh, Ami, I don't know if you're familiar with this phrase, but the apple didn't fall far from the tree. I've Do you it. know that one? I've heard it. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, I look young. I'm not as young as I appear. <laughs> I, 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 I understand. That's why I just, I don't I'm, know what phrases almost, you're familiar with. I'm almost as old as he is. <laughs> That's actually funny to think about. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Well, give him my love. I, yeah, I will. Uh, he's going to be so surprised. He really <laughs> is. Sorry, you look upset, Isaac. I'm, I'm, I haven't had a chance to come visit you yet. I've, we've got to sell these. You know, it's I missed you so much, but it's we've got to to move stuff. To, to you, you, how much for the doll? Be useful for you. And for and your friends with Isaac, um, one bit. She will take a coin out. Okay. Break off. And break. And you'll notice, yeah, the way that they're designed, they actually have like when they reform Scoring. score lines. Mm -hmm. One bit is uh one eighth of a coin. And she will break off that eight. She has the coin in her palm, mm -hmm. so it's not certain what size it is. And she hands she it over. She picks it up. Go ahead. And she tucks it in her pocket. I put the coin back. I pick up the dolphin. Oh. Oh, I mean, does this cost anything to have a stall here in the market? It does, but does it? Where mine is costs. It's prime location. This is at the front of the edges. The very edges are the, the, the best places because it's the ones everyone sees first. What? Understandable. Okay. We get this one by the week, and it normally runs us about four bits a week for this. And that's why we're trying to, to make money. We got to, at the start of the week, we do it, and then we've got to try to hustle to, to make back what we've spent to get the spot. Now, we generally do well because the ones in the middle, they don't get as much traffic. So it's worth it from our point of view. You know, I'm sure Isaac will tell you. Uh, why you keep look i saw a few years ago i popped in and, and saw you when you came to richmond and everyone kept calling you isaac i still have to talk to you about that because you're itzak mom called me itzak so did i but, not always not well, always we were young We've our family's always had a head for business, and so this is my thing. We make awesome. good money. Yeah, well, it's good to. I don't want to say it's good, but it's nice to have family on this side. I assume. I mean, y'all are on decent terms. I assume, yep. right? You seem seem happy to see him. So. And and Isaac, you get a a smell again. Once again, that, that vomity birthday cake smell comes up as you're talking. Now, no one else smells it, just Isaac. Well, Ami, it was a pleasure meeting you. Oh, uh, I'm sure. I mean, I'm here most days. We, Some weeks we're, we're not here. It depends on if we have things to sell. We've got stuffed animals. No, no, Ken's out gathering more things. A lot of times since... He can't come into the city. He continues to hunt, and then I stay here. This is how, I mean, we make, I'm not going to say good money on it, but we make decent coin doing this. 
What um, some of the better red light hunting places are harder to get to and a little bit more fought over. We pick around the edges. Easier that way and safer overall. Yeah, what um is this what you do when you're like off time from uh, a well, legion? Uh, what, I'm, what I'm not you with. I mean, I'm not in the legions. Oh. I, I mean, I did time and I did patrols and everything, but because I don't live in the city proper, I'm just considered one of the the people outside the city that come into trade. Oh, okay. yeah. So, does the market run all the time, all day, all night? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't sell it. It's all we, we don't. Yeah. It, I mean, not everyone's here all the time. Uh, you'll notice it's a lot less busy at night. And uh, some weeks we shut down if, if there's a big event going on because having people run through our stalls constantly is just. I mean, they, they just pass right through, but it's hard to concentrate on business when suddenly, you know, some 300 pound man without a shirt is sweating right in front of your stall. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't do well for business, <laughs> you know, and I, it's fine. I understand, but I mean, they, they don't know we're here. They don't know any better. So, I mean, I don't think it should stop business. I, I mean. You can't hold it against them, right? Like, but you can't, they don't, they're having fun. Yes, Isaac. I'd like to take a peek. Go ahead. Isn't that Perception Castigate? I should know this one by part by now, huh? And I'd like Good to thing. use Kismet, because I don't know what Legion she's with. Okay. And while he's doing that, Alexis is going to excuse herself, saying there's a few other things I'd like to look at, but it's truly been a pleasure, Ami. Well, it's nice to meet you, and I'll make sure I tell Ken that you know, that I found you. Thank you. I mean, he didn't know you were going to be here. <laughs> I'm sure if he did, you know. Hopefully it'll be a pleasant surprise. So what did we get for uh, for Isaac? No successes. No successes? You try. But you can't quite get anything from it. Now, you're free to try again if you want, but... You just keep trying. Yeah, I don't think that's the way I'd do it. All right, Ami, it's good to see you. I'm, I'd am i like to be able to spend more time and talk. And uh, he's going to lean in real close. Ken told me not to mention him and say where he was. I know, but, but, you know... I, that, that she reminds me of him. Well, I'm sure she's his daughter. But anyway, have you ever have you seen mom? Mask up. You can't change who you are, Itzek. Look at that face. Remember what you did. You should leave her alone. I know full well what I did. I, I stopped in to see her a year or two ago. I don't... It makes me sad. I don't go often. Just like I checked in on you a year or two ago. Are you still with that, that, that woman? Um, no, I'm dead. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you two together and you looked real sweet together. Um, we were doing pretty good, but uh, she's going to have to do better now. Well, upgrade. It, it's it's tough. I got three on the uh, kismet roll. Okay. She is Emerald Legion. Emerald Legion. How did you die? The, the, I'm trying <laughs> not to go. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pull it up. I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> I know what I, I remember, but I want to make sure I don't say exact say it, uh, which I can reveal because I don't want to give it all. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give it all away. Because she's curious. Yep. Except, yeah, of course, I have everyone's back right up except for Isaac's. Of course. You can't hear me. Uh, give me a minute, and I'll send it to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, re I remember, but I want to, I don't want to reveal everything because she won't see it all. 
Right. Just the, the mode of death, usually. Yeah. So that does not mean everybody but Isaac give me uh, <laughs> tells, okay? <laughs> I'm so just going to cut out the one relevant excerpt, and if you need more, let me know. Yep. Nope. Oh, crap. Don't look. I posted it to the ah! wrong place. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hold to me. Oh, this is not my night. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, Ami, thanks for telling us about the market and, and what you're doing here. Um, but you, one, one last thing, though. You said you're here most of the time selling your, your items? Yeah, I'm here most days. Uh, she dry, died of a uh, of an overdose. Of a drug. Well, she dry, died from poisoning, technically. Uh, Aurora's smile kind of fades a little bit. God. Yeah, I'm here most it, off and on. I mean, it's when we have stuff. Some weeks we don't, we're not here at all because there's no point in coming. Um, I know I've been a little quiet. Um, that roommate wasn't very nice. It's okay. We, we got enough. Um, Right. She'll, Aurora will kind of tilt her head as she's talking. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, just don't forget that I'm here, and you know, if you need anything. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm, I won't forget. Thanks. But when we don't have enough, I don't come out here. That these don't sell for much, but I know he's searching today. So, I mean. It's Friday, or Saturday now, and since it's, no, it's, it's, sorry, it's Friday. It's Friday, so, I mean, we paid on Monday, so mm-hmm. we don't have to pay again until Monday, so we'll sell what we got, and then we'll look and see what we have, you know, whether we think we're going to buy another week or not, but if I'm not here one week, you'll find me the next. Okay. But uh, sure. don't worry, I'll be looking for you. I've got to talk to my brother at some point, and we've got to catch up. Mm-hmm. The, the reason I asked about that is, you know... Um, you say you're here most of the time and well, the rest of us, we, we, we looks like we're going to have jobs. who's going to keep us busy a lot. I mean, if, if we, uh, if we were to come into items that we'd like to sell, can, can we pay you to sell them for us? And she gets a, a shrewd look on her face. that really belies her age, or at least her, what appears to be her physical age. Oh, she's in fucking oh, business mode well, now. We can, um, we, go. Uh, we can do a consignment. And if we, you can sign it over, we'll keep a, a, a portion of anything. But yes, we could we could work out some sort of deal for that. Uh, depending on the item, of course, we would have to evaluate it. And uh, we can give you a rough appraisal what it's worth before you can sign it over to us. But uh, we've done that from time to time for some of the uh, some of the groups outside of town that let's just say they can't. None of their members can come mm-hmm. into town. Okay, so because I mean, it. it could be that we you know we might have some things that we need need sold and uh if it's something we feel is is really marketable there's there's no upfront fee but if there is a if it's something we're not sure we'll sell we'll have to there's a table fee involved Mm -hmm. okay and but and that's up front per week and yes for for what is a very young girl yeah that's that's not young girl coming out now but she has been here a long time right Okay, well, thank you very much. That's not a problem. And if you're friends of Isaac's, I'm sure uh, I'm going to call you that because that's what everyone calls you. (laughs) That's what they called you on that train. I rode it one night, by the way. Uh It was fun. Special deals. They're not that good of friends. Okay, so I'll give them the family discount. Got (laughs) it. <laughs> yeah. Ken calls. That, Ken calls the family discount. discount. Still two hundred percent. Yeah, charge him double. Give price. him a third off. Yeah, that's what Ken told me. Charge him double. Give him a third off. He call. He doesn't call it family discount. He calls that the uh, Legionnaire discount. Of course. And Alexis, of course, she hasn't gone far enough to not hear. She leans her head over and says, "Yeah, that's him." <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, look around. There's all kinds of things. Uh, I imagine you came here for clothes. Well, at least still have a look anyway. 
You look around. If you go at the end of this row, Victoria has some clothes. And if you tell her you're a friend of mine, she might give you a discount. Or she <laughs> might overcharge you. discount? I was going to say the family discount. She might. It, she's fickle. Okay. But she has good stuff. And she's right at the end of the... She's at the end. You, you, you can't miss her. Okay. Alexis, you uh, you holding on to that that dolphin? It's gonna be a gift. Oh, okay. No worries. So, y'all want to look at clothes? I do want to see some other wares while we're here. Yeah, do they have yeah, guns? Like that too. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't turn gonna... anything into it. While you're Sorry. walking down, looking at things, I want to flash to Noah and Margo, mm-hmm. who are uh, on a bench. Thanks. Thanks for staying. I didn't know if you had any curiosities, so, but I really didn't. I was curious to look at clothes, but at the same time, where the money comes from, I don't... It's so fucked up. And Very I know cool. we're, we're supposed to have to get used to it, but... I, I don't I'm not re- I'm not ready to get used to it. Yeah. That that's my point. I, I mean honestly I was a little surprised you were the one that offered to stay. I know while we've been moving in the same direction, it's been a little friction. We're, so thank thank you again. No problem. We're both kind of assholes. Well in different speak for ways. Yourself. <laughs> um, I'm 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 sorry to hear what happened to is it Nat. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, was that the woman in the hospital that was fighting with my husband? Yes. If I may ask, and again. Everyone has the prerogative to tell me to fuck off, but I'm the curious sort. What is she to you? Who is she to you? She is the perfect woman. (laughs) Everyone has one. But the thing was, I had my obligations. I, I was already married. Didn't really want it. But it was kind of forced upon me. I'm sorry. It's it's not your fault. I when I got on that fucking train, I told myself I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to take it anymore. I was going to just be me. And that meant leaving with a engagement ring and divorce papers. That way the change in last name. Death has parted us and it was till death do you part. So that is your your last name, her last name? My last name. I didn't get to propose or tell her anything no, of really how no. I felt. On this side, I mean, symbolic gestures are symbolic gestures. I mean, what's a name anymore, you know? (laughs) Yeah. My my parents were both literary professors, and that's why my middle name's Whitman. They love Walt Whitman, and they, Hmm. every chance they get, they crack that into my brain and you know I I didn't appreciate it like I probably should have you know ironically the one that sticks out uh, you ever you ever see the movie uh, Dead Poets Society yeah yeah Robin Williams it, there's one he recites it's um bear with me it goes oh me oh life of the questions of these recurring of the endless trains of the faithless of the cities filled with the foolish of myself more reproaching myself for whom more foolish than I and who more faithless. Of eyes that vainly crave the light 
of the objects mean of the struggles ever renewed, the poor results of all of the plodding and sordid crowds I see around me, of the empty and useless years of the rest, the rest me intertwined, the questions owe me so sad recurring. What good amid this, O me, O life, answer, that you are here, that life exists, that the powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. A lot more meaning now. Yeah. And as you're talking, a couple comes up, sits right on the bench next to you. One, the, the man has his phone in front of him. He's like, you got you to gotta check this video out. You got to check, check, watch, watch this. Look at the look on her face. And you hear clearly a voice that you recognize. Very broken up voice. This is, this is Claire Frost at the scene of a, a train wreck. And here in, 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 down in Hanover. And I have instructions from the shadow. What is the shadow doing? She has used honeyed tongue. Wow. I think you really might want to take a sip of that drink now. She's fucking famous. Now, she's used, invoked a shadow power. So let me pull this up to make sure we, we handle this correctly. We want to make sure it's been used. Honey tongue. This is one of the... Uh, it's incredibly convincing. Yep, it's one of the thorns. One of the nasty little thorns that they have. There we go. Um... You need to roll your temporary angst. And what is... Did uh, I have to burn one to use it? Spending one point of angst, yep. And then you roll your temporary angst. Difficulty for you is going to be... Let me pull up the right sheet. I'll give you the difficulty in one second. I'm looking it up. It's manipulation and subterfuge is the difficulty. So it looks like difficulty is only five. And I have no counter against this. Um, you can burn a willpower after you feel what they Seven say. Seven successes. You can make one sentence strangely compelling and believing, believable. And you pretty much have to uh, try to do it or believe what she says unless you're burning the willpower after she or after your shadow uses the power. Um, and she no said one sentence. Right. I'm sending a quick message to the storyteller quick, but Noah's sitting there just. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Isaac. I mean, Noah. That's not right that they did that to her. Noah's not listening. He pulls the flask out of his jacket, looks at Margon says, that's my verse. This is my verse. Walks off and takes a drink. Noah steps away. And we're actually going to end this episode here with the rest of the circle, minus Margot and Noah, shopping. And we will cover your shopping list and expedition offline. We don't need to cover every little stall you visit. And Noah, Margo having a chat, and then fortunately Noah got a reminder of something he's lost right after his poem. And that flask is finally drawn to him. 
and the words of his shadow dug a deep thorn with that one. This is where we end this episode. Now, this week's viewer vote or viewer XP vote went to Alexis. Overwhelming majority. Overwhelming. Um, Thank you of, all so much. I'm so glad y'all enjoyed those scenes. <laughs> that, that was, was some... so intense. So I'm so glad y'all enjoyed them. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to do things. Uh, we're going to get rid of the learning curve thing because it's dragging out our ending of the episode to make it take so long. And everyone learns everything every, every episode. I've come to realize that you all learn something. So we are going to go straight three XP for everybody. Because you role played well, you played, and you learned something. I know you did. Um, that way, we're not dragging out the learning curve an extra five minutes an episode of just talking about the learning curve. But we are going to continue, of course, the player votes. And this week's player vote starts with Alexis. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. I'm honestly going to give it to Aurora. She played the hell out of the tortured, you know, penitence and then the pain. And I mean, she played the hell out of that. So I'm giving that to her. Thank you. Right. Yeah, that's that's very true. We will go Isaac next. I second that. OK, Margo. Yeah, absolutely. The emotion was palpable. Mm -hmm. All I mm -hmm. wanted to do was hug Aurora. Yes, we all wanted to <laughs> hug Aurora. <laughs> uh, Tark, I'm I'm going to continue it because that was incredible role playing. Uh, Aurora, I know you can't vote for yourself. What's Aurora's vote on this one? It's really hard because I like everyone did really really good this episode. I but I ha I really want to give it to Isaac for. Uh, be, having Ami sprung on him, uh, yeah. dealing with Alexis <laughs> and Isaac going back and forth, and oh, yeah, that was good. Blasting a fucking specter eight hundred meters yeah. away. <laughs> that was good too. Trust me, it was the time oh, between y'all yeah. too. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Right there. I'm That's just waiting until tell. Alexis starts using us all as weapons. <laughs> <laughs> that Wouldn't is not her goal. Her. <laughs> you know, as storyteller, I will say, yeah. Um, for those that don't understand, we, we may pre-record these things, but it's not scripted. And Isaac or Isaac had no idea I was putting the army in the market like that and was going to basically <laughs> fool his whole uh, story he had told Alexis. Mm -hmm. Just like Alexis last week did not know what was going to happen with Palmer. That's how you get real reactions out of your players. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. that's why we do it that way. And, so Noah's And vote. Noah's vote. Tough one. Um, not, I mean, I was leaning Aurora, but you know, I like spreading the love. So, you, unfortunately, just because I was last, I'm not going to give it to Aurora. I apologize. Um, I want to, I want to recognize Tark for that flash of emotion he showed um, at the beginning there, talking about their justifications for what they did. That was, that was. You heard just mm -hmm. all of a sudden the he anger. You fucking deserved it. <laughs> yeah, the anger just slipped right in, and that was well done. I'm going to give an XP to everybody. Uh. <laughs> because though this, in terms of story progression, we didn't do a lot of the story progression in this one. But it also set the scenes for a lot of other things. Noah finally succumbs to his flask. And uh, Alexis uh, turning the charm on. And also... Getting that info out of uh, Spectra about yeah. why Mimnosis yeah. is so problematic. Why is it such a big fucking deal? Isaac's amazing mm -hmm. use of his powers at the beginning, though it would have saved Palmer's life. Would I'm not sure Tark would have been happy with Palmer's life saved. Um, <laughs> and that's the uh, thing. No, he had wouldn't. he been there, he probably would have. And I, I loved it, Margo. You wanted to shop, but your problem with the money, and then you sat right there with Noah, and, you know, as a way to try to bridge that and reach out, and that's... It's a good thing. It shows that Margo is Growing. human. She's human. And she tries to, to fix things. And we all heard the emotion and Tark with that angry little burst and Aurora pure emotion. So, yes, everyone deserved one for this one. Um, to and the viewers. 
Thank you, Noah, for not burning a willpower on that. That was fucking chef's kiss. <laughs> I know. Oh, right after he read the Dead Poet Society, I'm like, yes. Oh, That's why I heart. did it. That is why I had them show up then to play that video. Yeah. Because it was a perfect ending to that poem, and it was a great place to end the episode. Mm -hmm. And if you're a viewer, please go onto our Discord, right over here in chat's the name of it. Go to the Necropolis and vote on the, on who gets the player XP. Uh, or the viewers vote um just vote please it shows engagement it shows you like what we're doing and the more people that vote the more likely i'll give the viewer vote to everybody, everybody. or multiple people yeah <laughs> i really gauge whether one person or multiple people get it based on how much engagement there was and if we get a shitload of people voting i'm more likely to hand it out to everybody mm -hmm. um, because that shows that everyone was on point at a level that you know made it hard to, to vote and it really brought people forward. So please do that. Check out our friends over here. Got a whole list of people. We like what they're doing. They put on good shows. Sylvanov with his Prince William by night. Uh, if you're European, Circuit de Panda. She's on the list. She streams during daytime. For us US people, it's our daytime. It's more European friendly. There's, there's some good people over here. We like what they're doing. We support what they're doing. And we want to spread the love because that's what we do. If you like our content, Right here on Twitch, give us a follow. If you really like it, give us a subscribe. If you want to show the players some love, bits and donation go to the players, not to Relin and I. And that's a way to show the players that you really enjoy what they're doing. Uh, we don't do this to make money because let, let's be honest, none of us are going to make a living doing this. But it's just a way to show appreciation. They might buy a uh, drink or something. Or uh, I know a lot of the players have donated some of their, their bits and donations over to... to our other storyteller, Tiss, to help her upgrade her system setup, which is, you know, what these help to do. Yeah. We like doing that kind of stuff. Uh, I know I'm forgetting. So, oh, uh, we have merch, by the way. Uh, not for, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have a lot of Wraith merch yet, though I'm sure we're going to come We've up with some. Get, yeah, if y'all are in the Discord, give us ideas of things you would like to see on merch for Wraith. We'll be happy to, to to work with people that do, can do art for us, and and we will make shit happen. We'll so. get some good merch. Yeah, I, I, I think I think we need a riding crop with the McStabber <laughs> logo on it. Uh, I, mm, I wonder where it. I could find a riding crop and get a McStabber custom printed riding crop. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I got contact, don't worry. Yeah, I, that, I might have to look up. <laughs> okay, so coming up over the next week, we have, let's see, this is streaming on the 10th. So we have on Saturday, Ishvel at 3 p.m. Eastern. This is the start of the end, guys. It's going to be running for a few weeks um, after it comes back on the 13th, and then it's going to end next month in April. But don't so worry, Tiss will be back with She will be game. back because she's going to start a new game in may call it cthulhu i think yeah um, they're, they're down for some cock so. <laughs> here for the cult stuff they, uh, they're bringing the cult stuff absolutely um then on the 14th we have episode four of windy city after dark at 5 p.m eastern um on monday i believe tam may have the finale of stuffed Based on it's, what he's been telling me, that it might be the end. So on the 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern on Onyx Path Twitch channel, check out Stuffed, which is a Hunter the Vigil 2E stream. It has been a crazy ride. Oh, it, my God. It's really, I've, I enjoyed up until I couldn't watch it live anymore because I started having to record Windy City. But it, it is a good stream. I've been stream. catching it on YouTube. Yeah, watch <laughs> that shit. Watch, I wish I had time at the moment. But uh, everything, the whole, most of the episodes I saw and they were good. Yeah. Uh, it is a good mm -hmm. stream. It's got some great, I mean. We, we do host that here. So if you don't remember to go to Onyx Path, you can land on our site here on Twitch and you can click a button and go straight there to watch it live. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern on Monday. And, and you get to watch Tam Shu run a game and he's not guilty like he is playing Isaac. He's not this <laughs> this uh, dark and brooding guilty guy. He gets to be the sadistic storyteller for once. <laughs> and then the 16th is on Tuesday. We have Tam again running Chronicles of Darkness Haunted Chronicles with Tam running it, Margo in it, Aurora in it, Noah in it. <laughs> and he's even more sadistic in that game than he is in Stuffed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's at 8 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. 
And so that's, and then of course, the following Wednesday on the 17th, it is going to be episode eight of this show right here, Wraith Life yeah, we're Derailed. We're to the end of the season. There are only, as always, we do 10 episodes 10 episode a season. season. So uh, it believe. doesn't feel like it's been that fast, yeah. but we're hitting the end of it. And uh, it's been a blast and I've enjoyed playing with everyone here and we're getting close to the end, but we're not done yet. Some shit's coming down for sure. <laughs> Wait, more? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's well, there's going to be a reckoning for sure with Alexis and Isaac at this point. <laughs> though we plan a time skip here shortly, uh, we can still cover what certain happened scenes, right before <laughs> um before the time skip because some of these scenes are rather important oh yeah because alexis is so fucking satisfied right now <laughs> yep and, which is great stuff she and uh it, 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 she bought the dolphin <laughs> she <laughs> bought the motherfucking dolphin <laughs> <laughs> In the immortal words of Chops, uh, mental health is no joke. It's no laughing matter. Uh, we laugh in this game because at the end of a session, as dark as it is, we have to. But mental health itself, is it's not a laughing matter. Please check in on each other. Check in on your friends, your family, your loved ones. Be just like Ami and go check on, uh, on the ones on a train somewhere. Check on them. Make sure they're okay. Because don't assume they are. Things are tough for everyone right now, and it's hard to deal with it, and we're not indestructible. None of us are. And if you are someone who has mental health issues, like myself, please, uh, if you need help, get help. Talk to somebody, whether it's professional or just a friend or uh, just a family member. Or just talk to somebody if you need it. Because as Wraith shows you, we're all tied together with our passions. And that involves those who are around us. The important things to us. And... There's nothing wrong with admitting you can't do it by yourself and you need help. There's nothing wrong with that. So from the McStavish Studio family and the players of this wonderfully dark game, thank you and good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>